Today, even under a civilian and ostensibly democratic dispensation, it is sad but true that the country still experiences wanton violations of human rights, ranging from extrajudicial executions, flagrant disregard of the right to fair hearing by law enforcement agents, criminality in the form of armed robbery, kidnapping, child abuse, and numerous other acts that call into question the claim by Nigeria of undiluted observance of human rights norms. Only three weeks ago or thereabout, an innocent Nigerian who went to watch a football match was fed by uh, the bullet of uh, the SARS. And uh, I gave a lecture uh, two weeks ago in New York that the SARS they need information. Uh, Femi Fala uh, was represented, they were, they were all represented, and the SARS, they were looking at us again, that we could come and confront them at a forum to tell them that they are not above the law. They, are, they, are, they should live under the law. Or they, they applauded and applauded, but one is not sure whether the message sounds. <laughs> because the way SARS have been behaving, since then, about four Nigerians have been fed in different parts of the state, in Lagos. So it seems that the SARS, who are the equivalent of SWAT, they are now uh, a greater danger, a greater cancer than the medicine they were called to administer. So the situation is dire, and uh, the police now has to be saved from itself. When to all this is added, the vile acts of cruelty and man's inhumanity to man brought about by insurgency and civil strife occurring in different parts of the country. It becomes clear that Nigeria is far from claiming an excellent human rights record. The incidents of disregard for the niceties of due process of law in corruption cases and others has since become a serious cause for concern among enlightened circles in the country. It is becoming increasingly obvious that the country has a steep learning curve in terms of human rights consciousness and the enforcement of human rights in Nigeria. Although there are public demonstrations organized frequently by the CDHR and other civil society organizations in support of human rights, there is a high level of apathy and tolerance among the general population for incidents bottling on human rights violations by the government and its agencies. The powerlessness of the masses in relation to protection of their rights tends to strengthen and encourage the sense of impunity among the law enforcement agents. A more vigorous conversion of the need to enhance human rights protection in the country will be an elixir to the multifarious problems confronting the society. While the media, both regular and social, have done a lot to ventilate cases of human rights violations in the country, there is a felt need to ensure commitment by the government and its agencies through exhibiting a low tolerance level for brazen acts of violation of and or disregard for citizens' rights. Indeed, it is no exaggeration to avow that efflorescence of human rights will subsist only after the country is able to establish a truly liberal democratic society. And I've come to my conclusion. <laughs> Undoubtedly, there exists a link between human rights and liberal democracy, so much so that both can be said to constitute two sides of the same coin. Where and when liberal democracy subsists, it is a foregone conclusion that respect for human rights lies at its epicenter. In fact, it can be said that the more liberal and democratic a society is, the better it will be able to invite policies that will advance and protect human rights. The jury is still out on how well Nigeria has succeeded in building a liberal democratic society of maintaining respect for the rights of its citizens. 
Accordingly, the attainment of a liberal democratic society is still very much a work in progress. Accordingly, no effort should be spared in the ensuring that Nigeria imbibes international best practices in the area of human rights protection and enforcement. The people should therefore place the task of constructing a liberal democratic society on the front burner and always be ready to put the government on its toes so that an end is speedily brought to impunity and the attainment of a liberal democratic society becomes a reality to the benefit of the entire population. I thank you very much. For